reactor in three words, I would say weekly sci-fi ketchup. And by that, I mean the condiment. I'm kidding. I always liked sci-fi. And, and I don't, you know, when you're a kid, you're not like, what do you want to watch, buddy? Sci-fi? I think I just always gravitated towards stuff like The Jetsons, one of my all-time favorite shows, and I love that. And I, some of my first stand-up bits were about that. So Reactor is a half-hour show crossing all different mediums of sci-fi, uh, movies, television, comic books, a lot of sketches, interactive things, guests, silliness, robots. They have all kinds of stuff. We remade Point Break and just broke my little heart. And but to watch the trailer, you're like, look what they can do now. Look at the effects they can do. Look at the pro like stunts they can perform. Still, you don't do it. I think the reason you don't remake Back to the Future is the charisma in a five foot four inch man that was that like captivating. He's so confident and yet likable. You'll never get that again. So you just can't do it. It's impossible to do it and do any justice to it. So. Don't touch Back to the Future. Like my favorite science fiction is stuff that is like a slight projection into what could happen. Where, you know, not necessarily dystopia all the time, but like Minority Report or things like that. Where like, oh, they're involving technology and things. That could happen. I feel like Ex Machina is brilliantly done. I really love that. And then Black Mirror, I, I'm a big fan of uh, uh, The Twilight Zone. And I feel like that's kind of the closest contemporary modern style that we have to that, and I really, I, I just think it's great. If I could have a drink with anyone in Game of Thrones, it would be Tyrion Lannister. I think he's the smartest, savviest, he says things that are like, not, like, kind of exposition, but then there's a philosophical side to him, he's had to think his way through life, he, he seems like a fascinating person to have a drink with. I feel like this show is great and sorely needed, because people are already talking about these things, and there's no real central place to go and, and feel like you're part of a community, where everyone is weighing in or going, oh yeah, I saw that, or oh, what are their opinions on it, what's their take on it, so I think it's it's long overdue. I got called a geek a lot as a kid, and I draw a lot of weird things, and I'm fascinated by robots and things like that, but I, I don't like that notion of geek cred, or like, why should we like you, it's a very like exclusionary kind of thing of, yeah, he's okay, you can be one of them, I don't like that. I could be a superhero, I wouldn't want to be a superhero where people would bother me a lot for things, I'd want like a very minimal... So I think if I could have an indestructible stomach, and it, it comes with an unhinging jaw, obviously, to like cartoonishly eat bombs, but just winning a lot of chili contests, winning a lot of, uh, you know, hot dog eating contests, things that like, you get a moderate amount of esteem and no one's really counting on you, but if there is, oh no, there's a bomb over there, I got it. <laughs> That to me is like the most useful superhero because people aren't, why don't you do more? I couldn't, I couldn't deal with that. So I need to not be bothered, but also like it's a fun party favor. <laughs> <laughs>